back to another video in this playthrough for GMT Games Prime Minister. We are playing the Clockwork C2 scenario, uh, climbing the greasy pole. Uh, and with that, we will just jump right back into the action. Okay, so we have adjusted VPs. We've reset the action cube, so we jump right back into it with our opposition leader and they are going to in both cases debate and because this bill is currently at 320 um that is going to fall in his attack range for two debate actions so he is going to drop this bill uh, back down to 300. That's going to cause our prime minister to ignore the bill because, again, when there's only one bill here, he's not going to waste actions on it um, that he knows um, are uh, are not going to have any effect. So, uh, are not going or have no ability to um, to actually get that bill to um, a passable uh, state. Okay, so now it is my turn. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually play this supporter card. And because I think we're gonna see a lot of election activity, I'm gonna use that to um, raise my standing with the gentry, so, or raise my uh, popularity with the gentry. So that's gonna get me two on the election track there. And then I'm gonna split my actions. I'm gonna spend one action um, I think this bill is not going to pass. And so I'm going to spend one action. Oh no, I'd have to spend both actions doing that. I'm gonna spend one action debating this just to make sure that it doesn't pass because I don't want him to get that standing. I, I don't think I'll target it anyway, but on the off chance that uh, there's like a plus 10 uh, from like uh, something in his supporter or something, um, I don't want uh, I don't want him to sort of be able to, to, to pass that bill. Um, and then the last thing I'll do is I will spend one to campaign, and I can campaign with uh, the conservatives, the farmers, or Ireland. I think farmers makes the most sense. Um, farmers or Ireland is sort of similar, but we'll do it with the farmers. So that is the end of that. Um, my standing goes up by one again, and then it is over to our clockwork prime minister. So first things first is uh, an event. So if his standing is greater than nine and the highest bill is greater than or equal to 320, which we know it's not, um, it's not greater than or equal to 320, um, then he would do something, but he won't. So now he's going to flip over this clockwork card. Ooh, t oh, Lord. Uh, okay, this is going to make things very interesting. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, well, he is going to, well, he can now move this bill by 50, which would put it at 340 huh okay he may pass this bill now okay he uses that supporter to move that bill and then uh he is going to debate three times because debating it three times it is within his defense range and it will get it three more times will get this bill to 340 on this track one two three so with uh, all of 350 minus 10 he now has the bill at 340 and he is going to attempt to pass this so uh we're gonna sorry we reshuffle the entire uncertainty deck and we are gonna draw to see what the uh, effect is zero so he actually then passes this bill so both of us get two vps his standing goes up by one it's a good thing we've knocked his standing down a little bit previously um i did not see that coming now the good news however is that there's an election coming and he's projected to lose seats um so what that means is i mean you know the points he didn't spend his time like cranking up the um the uh the election so he is actually going to delay the election and he'll delay it because he is projected to lose seats in this election and uh with that we are done for this turn so now we loop back around 
Um, and we are going to do bill selection once again. So I am going to draw two bills, two cross party bills here, and I get two more bills with an A, but I really dearly hate giving him a level two supporter, so that's a pretty easy choice, frankly. Now he, same as last time, he's going to be choosing from the cross party bill deck. So he draws five bills. And now we start looking at projections. So um, moderates plus 30 and moderates plus 20, both of these are definitely not going to be within his selection range. Um, if you recall, his moderates are only at like 180. So this is really interesting. He's going to be, he, because of where he's at, he's only going to be picking all bills because um, that defense range is 250. So he's going to immediately discard both of these bills as out of his range. Um, all of the A bills are within his range, so that's fine. Um, so then all of them are worth two. So that's there's a tie there. And then uh, Gentry in Scotland, does favor? Okay. So Gentry and Scotland, um, Gentry and Scotland are basically tied. So this, so basically all of these ones that are gonna f cause him to go up by one in terms of election projections, they are all uh, sort of like tied. So we're gonna choose all three of these. So this is at the zero, this is at minus 10. And this is at plus 10. So it's a very good, he's got a very good chance of passing each of these bills this turn, unfortunately, with his uh, massive lead in government. So, okay, so now it is our opposition leader's turn. And one of the things that I really want to try to do is to get his standing up by one, um, because uh, that will uh, give him another action cube. So he is not going to spend his time on favor. Um, he will also not be spending his time on this bill since it is outside of his attack range. So both of these are within his attack range, and this one has the lowest projected vote total. So what he's going to do with uh, both of his cubes is he's going to debate these uh, the Oxford, Un Oxford University Act, um, and he will drop it down to, to there. Okay. So it's my turn, and I've been looking at this uh, carefully. And as I've said, I really want to make sure that we uh, we prevent him from passing a bill this turn. And what I'm looking at is I could move this one further down. Um, I could get this down to 290, but he is largely probably gonna gonna. Um, focus he he may focus on debating this next turn um actually now that i think about it i think what i'm gonna do though i'm gonna drop this one by 30 i'm gonna use my uh my chief whips uh coordinated debate action and i'm gonna drop this one by 30 that gets that one down to 320 that puts it in his defend range so he's probably going to spend some time on this. Next turn, we can make sure that this one gets kind of out of range so that uh, hopefully we can get our opposition leader up. Um, and I'm thinking that uh, he may not even focus on this. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Um, but I think that's I've got this right. So we now go over to our clockwork prime minister and we do an event. So his if his influence is greater than nine, and the highest bill is greater than 320, both of those are true, then he is going to spend a cube campaigning in Scotland. So this is good. We we actually do kind of need him to bleed a cube or two. I mean, I don't need him getting too much further out in front on these election projections, I will say. But we do need him to start bleeding some cubes uh, off. So what that means is, what's interesting here is... Um, he is going to focus. He's got, you know, he's, he's not going to do influence again. So the next one up is, is this plus 10 on the highest bill. Now, the thing is, the highest bill is that one with 360 votes. This one right here, which has 360 votes. But 360 votes is outside of his defense range, which means he's going to, uh, for both of these actions, he's actually going to campaign. So he's going to campaign with the middle class and then with the gentry. So 
gentry plus two, middle class plus two. So he goes up to 13 now. So his elections are still looking there. But one of the things that means is he didn't actually pay any attention to the Oxford University Act, which might be helpful to me. Uh, I could actually possibly prevent him from, from passing um, both of these acts now. Um, it's possible. Um, or he didn't, I'm sorry, he didn't pay attention to the Police in Scotland Act. So that is the end of that. So now we move on to bill resolution. And neither of these bills has 350 or 340. So he's going to resolve the Metropolitan Police Act. So that it gets both of us two VPs and moves the gentry up by one. So again, he's getting way out in front on elections here on me just running away with it. And he's about halfway to his VP total. So once again, uh, there's no challenge, uh, there's no election, so that is the end of that turn. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video, uh, the playthrough uh, of, of Prime Minister, um, as well as the channel in general. Uh, please leave comments with suggestions on uh, things like other games that you'd love to see come to the channel or improvements uh, that can be made uh, to the channel. And we will see you in the next video on Agility Snips Gaming Table.